Hello everyone and welcome to my latest Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World, the latest game for the Nintendo Wii U. And wow, can I just be the first one to say this game looks simply amazing. It's 1080p Mario, dude, whoa! <laughs> Look at that little guy in the background, that's pretty cool. And yes, I am simply just mesmerized by this game and I cannot wait to start. I can't wait to share my experience with you guys and hmm... As you guys may know, or may not know, in this game we can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, and also Blue Toad. Or just Toad. Hey, either one works. And I guess we might as well start with Mario. That makes a little bit of sense. And yeah, we're running solo this time. It's okay. And yeah. This is my first time playing through this game, so if I'm not really the best at it, don't... There's not much I can do about that. And hey, as most Mario games start out, that's a pretty awesome party, it seems. There's fireworks in the Mushroom Kingdom. Apparently Mario and Luigi decide to hang out with a toad. That's cool and stuff. But what the heck is this? It's a see-through pipe. That we apparently fix. Uh, okay, that doesn't even make any sense. I know Mario and Luigi are plumbers and all, but... Oh. Well, definitely didn't expect that to happen, and who the heck is this person? Uh-huh. Seems rather flustered. Oh. Okay, then. That's not good at all. Bowser is in capturing these people? Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's a big boy, Bowser. He's capturing these... fairy ladies. That's not very nice of him. He apparently has a bunch of purple gases. Well, I guess we gotta save him, because, well, Peach is fallen into this new world and uh yeah this is gonna be quite the adventure it seems we gotta rescue these magical people and wow this just this looks amazing oh my gosh this is so awesome guys i just know this is gonna be, this is gonna be one amazing adventure and wow look at this so cool whoa and oh yeah that's definitely a bowser castle if i've ever seen one Alright, let's get started and we can. This is the overworld and you can press. You can press. Oh, I'm pressing B. Oh, I guess. It doesn't matter. And hey, we get coins in the overworld. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I just want to check this out real quick. See what's going on. See what these are all about. And I guess we should stop lollygagging and go on to World 1. And man, oh man, guys, this is it. 1080p HD Mario. Oh man. I can. I can't even believe I'm playing this game right now. I mean, obviously it was going to come out, but oh gosh, I'm so happy it's here. This is the first level of the game, and well, like most first levels of Mario games, it's going to teach us some game mechanics, such as the newly introduced Cat Mario suit, which also has turned into a cat. It's pretty darn cool. <laughs> cat Mario can climb up walls and do a bunch of other tricks, like, you know, the dive kick. <laughs> Actually, it's not really a kick, but more say a pounce. Anyways, the star medals have been kind of replaced with green stars. I'm not sure how I like that, honestly, but it's whatever. They still have the same mechanic. All right, let's uh, take care of this dude. Actually, we can just go through the pipe. Uh, okay, <laughs> kind of worried getting hit there. I mean, oh gosh, this is just, this is just dazzling how like amazing this game is. <laughs> it just looks so great, but will it handle as well? Well, it seems like it. Cat suit's pretty cool. And this little spritzy person is showing us the goal. That's pretty cool. There seems to be something up there. I'm gonna check that out. First, I want to see what's up with this bunny. Hey, little bunny guy. Oh, yeah. oh, they give you star. Oh, that's pretty darn cool. Oh. Yeah, I haven't really played this game a lot, so if I make mistakes and say things that aren't necessarily correct, guys, just spare with me, you know? Anyways. Oh, there's oh, there's a big bunny, too. That's cool. Let's tap that little guy. Let's tap this one. Come on, where you at? Okay, awesome. Oh, my gosh. It's going to give us a giant mega mushroom. I want it. Yeah, we're big behind Mario. So now we're gonna go around town because we're big Mario. And hey, there's a little secret back there. I wonder where the third star medal is, huh? It's actually, oh, 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 okay. I guess that was supposed to happen. That's where the third uh, green star is. That's cool. Um, awesome. But I think I feel like we missed something. Let's go back and just check out the level a little bit. I feel like I missed maybe an item or something. Huh, because I remember seeing footage of this game, and... Yeah, we did, we didn't go in here. Let's go in here real fast. Now, I think... Yeah, okay, there it is. This is a stamp. Essentially, these there's one in every single level. I don't know about Special World, but to my knowledge, 
the majority of the levels have stamps hidden in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find those. I'm going to try and make this walkthrough as 100% as it can be. But not necessarily I'm going to like, you know, I may miss stuff. That's basically what I'm saying. And we need to be careful because we want to do that. Let's go this little secret over here. Huh. Okay, I gotcha. Hey, is there anything else? I guess not. Let's come up here. And yeah, this is essentially just a bigger, better version of Super... Ooh, we kind of missed that flagpole by quite a bit there, didn't we, Mario? It's okay, though. So we're going to climb up here and maybe just do a tiny jump this time, then climb up it and get the golden flagpole for this level. And wow, what a... That was pretty fun, if I do say so myself. And man, I'm very excited to play this game if you can't tell. I'm kind of into Mario. I kind of like newer Mario games. And yeah, there's our first sticker. It's old Cat Mario. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little illustration. And yeah, that was the first level completed. We got one, two, three. All green stars. For that level, nice. And yeah, I guess when we have the golden flagpole and the, all the stars, it'll show up there. Yeah. Cool. So what do you guys say we do? World 2. Just keep the ground roll or hit the ground running, rolling, rolling. Koopa Troopa Cave is where we're going to next, so let's get in there. Okay. I don't know how useful the cat suit's going to be here, because it's kind of a cave, but hey, whatever. No. Oh man, this music sounds so awesome. Gosh, gotta love this game anyways. So we're going to take care of that guy, and we're going to pick up his shell. Now let's do this, let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh. It's going to break all these blocks, but I kind of want to see what's under there. Can I ground pound there? Oh, that might be a bottomless pit. I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm scared. I don't want to go in there, dog. Oh. I kind of want this fire flower suit. See how fire flower suit has kind of been in like every stinking Mario game ever, so... So you can check this out. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring to see what's going on. Apparently, they're not happy that I took his shell. Too bad I did. I wonder the significance behind those different colored blocks are. Oh, seems like they're just to be aesthetically pleasing. I guess so. Let's take care of that goon. Come up here. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I know, I know this commentary is absolutely abysmal, but I'm just full of, like, child glee right now. Seriously. This game is just bringing out my inner child. Okay, let's get on here. No, that might be the... Yep, that's the first star. Star, green star. I keep wanting to say star coin, but they're not star coins anymore. Okay, let's actually check up. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a mystery box. These were in the other game, too, for the DS. I guess we gotta take care of these Goombas in a timely manner. Okay, get away from me. There we go. And hey, there's a green star. Awesome. I did that pretty slow, but hey, we got the green star regardless. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna take care. Oh gosh, there's many Goombas too. You gotta be careful of them. Okay. Let's launch ourselves and. Oh, I kind of. One of those coins, but it doesn't matter. I think we can go back. Or actually, no, there's like a keg right there. Ooh! Not a, a cork, not a keg. <laughs> Let's go in here real fast and. No, I want the stamp though. Come on! How do you get that stamp? I gotta find out. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, maybe if we jump up. Yeah, there's hidden stuff too. This is a Mario game we're talking about. Oh, I see it. I get you, Nintendo. See, I like this because it's like, hmm, it's not like you have to like guess around for like ever and look it up online. If you use your brain a little bit, and they're easy to find. So let's get in there and get our apparent a bunch of coins and our stamp, which I can't wait to see what that one is. Huh? Very curious. Let's take that guy out, and yep, there's the final. Ugh, green star. That feels so satisfying. Oh my gosh, it's going here fast. Oh, that just takes me back there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, everyone's like, dude, you suck at Mario. It's the stupidest video ever. Calm down, man. It's my first time, all right? And okay. So, we've made it through the second level of Super Mario. Or, hmm, Super Mario 3D World. It's not land anymore. I'm very curious. I want to do, I want to just guarantee that I get the golden flagpole. So, I'm going to use my cat suit to get it. And what did it to do? We did it. We completed the second level of the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. I like how I'm getting all of the golden... Actually, the golden flagpoles and all the green stars and all the stamps. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do in each level, so. <laughs> okay, now let's see. That level has been completed. Oh, I need to not hit my giant gamepad. It's very big. It's pretty cool. I like the gamepad. I, think, I feel like this game is honestly gonna flesh it out a lot more than previous Wii U titles. And oh my gosh, it's my mortal. I, I never thought we'd see this guy in another Mario game ever. This is Charge and Chuck. If you don't know who Charge and Chuck is, you need to play yourself some Super Mario... Th not Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario World. This is Charge and Chuck Brigade. Oh gosh, it's a bunch of enemies. Mm. We gotta take off their helmets first, and then we're gonna jump on them. Yeah, that'll show them. Oh gosh, I guess we can just do a dive kick. <laughs> and take them out. And yeah, that's pretty darn cool. It reminds me of the Hammer Bros sections from Super Mario Bros. 3. 
I really like those things. I'm glad they kind of brought them back. You know, the charging shocks had nothing on me. And we quickly take away the green star from them. I guess you're just going to sit there and look all mad and stuff that you lost? Well, sorry. Oh, I guess he's getting out of the way. That's cool. <laughs> she's like, how can this happen? I lost Mario! I don't know, man. And wow, look how, look how Mario just prances around. That's pretty darn funny. I actually want to see. Can we change which characters we're using? Hmm, possibly, but I guess we'll find out that later. Maybe we'll do next world with Luigi and do it like that. Just do them all. Okay, welcome to the Toad House. Pick a box. You know, something's telling me to pick the big one, but I'm going to pick the small one. And wow, it's me a lot of power-ups. But I honestly kind of want to hang out with the cat one. Or use the cat one, just because it's brand new. And yeah, let's uh, hit that, that third level and give it a try. You're really going to save in between every Toad House? Come on. I guess that's so you can't cheat, though. Okay, let's go over here and do the third level. And okay, World 1-3, Mount Beanpole. What's this? Oh, we can randomly change our character. Oh, we got Blue Toad. Awesome. So, okay, this is... Huh. It's kind of a weird level. Pretty much reminds me of the first level. Let's actually put on our little suit. Let's see what's up in these trees. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. I guess that's where the first green star was. Now, if you didn't guys know, not every character is the same like in New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Or the Wii U version. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, characters have different abilities and, well, they control differently. Toad is really stinking fast. That's honestly probably the playstyle I like the most, in my opinion, but hey, it's cool. And hey, one sec is over here. Um, how do you do this? Okay, so we gotta do. Ooh. Okay. I bet the. Oh, we have, there's a second green star. Well, these are actually kind of easy to find. That was just in plain sight. Okay. I guess we had to collect all these coins for the green star to appear. Luckily, we got Toad, who's pretty darn stinking fast. I don't know how we'd do this with other characters and it's come up here real fast. It seems like you definitely need, like, the cat suit for the majority of this game. It seems to just outclass all the other suits substantially. And come on, there we go. Ooh, we're a little... We can do a little spin. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's, like, a good thing. And wow, they're just kind of feeding us secrets now, aren't they? There is the stamp for this level. Okay, let's climb up here. Hit that. Ugh. Side flip up there. That's how Toad rolls. Uh, okay, cool. Let's um. Hmm. Let's oh, oh hey, what is this? What is this nonsense? Let's climb up here. Let's find it. Uh, come on, come on, Toad. Okay, I'm really afraid to flip like off. Okay, there we go. Let's hit that. And what the heck even is this? I'm so confused right now, but I'm having fun at the same time. That's part of playing a brand new Mario game. And oh, can we control this cloud? No, it apparently shoots us up into the. No way. These se I love these sections in Super Mario 3D Land. I'm so happy to see them back. It's the cloud section, and whoa! There's these little boosty pads that are pretty cool. Boosty? Boosty? Boost pads that propel us and make us go faster, and whoa, we're going back down to ground. Because that's where cats belong. Cats should not be that high up in the air. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just, I'm just so full of, like, happiness right now. I don't know, guys. Just a giant problem. But, eh. Damage them damage him again and he's dead and that is probably the end of the level don't really see what this had to do with beans per se but whatever creators of mario do whatever you'd like and uh, let's come up here and you pretty much need the cat suit to do that it seems and okay that was our first level done with well mr toad here it's pretty darn cool we'll use luigi and mario or not luigi luigi and peach in future episodes of this let's play and so far we got all the stamps neato Probably not going to have an awesome time getting them all, but hey, it doesn't matter because we got all 10 green stars and we got all the golden flagpoles too. And guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. I sincerely hope you know. Wait, this is going to tell us. Oh, there's a manual, whatever. We don't even need that. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, thank you all so much for watching this episode and I really hope you have as much fun watching this Let's Play as I do making it because, well... If you don't know, I kind of like Mario, and this is going to be an awesome adventure, I can just tell. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.